So this is just going to be a quick video, review video of this uh, eBay purchase, a mortar gun, mortar gun from eBay. Uh, I think it cost, cost under $50 with shipping. I think it was more like uh, $27 if I'm not mistaken. Shipped. Uh, it's made of stainless steel. Most of it, this part is just some uh, soft metal, maybe aluminum. Back is stainless steel. Valves are stainless steel. Bolts are stainless steel. And it comes with a few different nozzles. Right. And, uh, so the first time I tested it. And it works, works like it's supposed to. And uh, I've actually used it for undercoating. That's the reason why I bought this gun. Uh, you can use it for mortar, but I've used it for undercoating. I just got a bunch of uh, rubberized asphalt. And, uh, you know, I always try to stay away from spraying that stuff because it gets everywhere. It gets in your hands, clothes, and your hair gets on the paint where you don't want it to but there are some tight corners where I can't use a normally I just use a paintbrush and I can get 90% of the spots with just a paintbrush a little bit more hand work and but it probably goes faster than this but this uh, like I said you know, I, I use this for tight corner on the round I'll show you just a second but I, like I said, I try to stay away from spraying this stuff because it gets everywhere. Um, and yeah, it worked fine. The only thing I didn't like about it is that the, uh, the air, part where you're supposed to connect the air here, it comes with the Chinese uh, NPT, I think. Well, the NPT, that would be the equivalent. But it comes with a Chinese connector that I can't use. And, uh, but I just I just got a, a rubber hose and clamped it around it and it works fine and uh, that's what I have here and uh, cleanup is fairly easy As you can see the nozzle is pretty big and this is the smallest nozzle I'm gonna say it's like uh, maybe six millimeter the other ones are even bigger so and for cleaning it's not easy cleaning this stuff from rised asphalt. I use a bunch of gasoline, also use diesel, but it comes with this big thread on part here. And you can remove it. And that makes cleaning everything really easy. It's a nice uh there's lots of space around that. I don't know if you can see. This little plastic thing will come off as well. There you go. As you can see, I can literally put my finger in there all around it. So cleaning it is surprisingly easy. And even if you're, you forget to clean it for some reason, you can still just uh, clean it off later. Unless it's mortar, then that will be more difficult. But I put it in. You know, very simple, very well built. Um, there's a little pressure regulator here. I don't really use it, but you can use it. And here you just press down when you want stuff to come off here. You press it down like that. If you want it to stay, let's say you don't want to keep your finger here all the time, you're gonna do a lot of spraying. And you just press it down and spin it around and there's a catch there. It'll lock and then it'll stay on. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a mortar gun, and I've used it for uh, spraying rubberized asphalt. I've, I had, I previously had a normal rubberized asphalt gun. It's got a really long nozzle, and it doesn't work. That's garbage. Aluminum, and just, just garbage. Uh, it clogs up because that long, you see, this is nice and short, easy to clean, and it doesn't do a lot of traveling. The more, the longer the pipe is on the nozzle, the more it has to travel and the less spray you get. 
and uh, the easier it is to clog eventually you know always a little bit stays in there and it clogs up and uh, so it's just plain garbage so if you're interested in doing your own uh, undercoating on your vehicle here's your answer um, I can't really find anything to criticize about this machine except for one thing over here it's soldered so that's you know it's objectionable it goes right through and I think it'll last forever I don't see uh, how you could I could damage this the only thing that I don't like too is that this is soft. I wish, I wish they had just made the whole thing in stainless. That would have been nicer. But I mean, this is much better than anything you can get at your local store. So uh, I'm really surprised and I'm happy with it. This hose here probably eventually will leak. So that's another of bad parts about it. But I can just easily replace that. It's not such a big deal. Um, uh, not much else to say about it, I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. It's pretty big, as you can see, it's about the size of my head. A bit bigger. I got a big head. really simple it's just air that comes off that little pipe inside and once it goes out it creates a vacuum that sucks in whatever's in here if you use the rubberized asphalt stuff it's highly likely that you'll need to dilute it thin it a little bit I just use the record salt or ferrosol paint thinner that's it you can pretty sure you can use acetone and other thinners uh, gasoline I wouldn't use gasoline or diesel because uh, it probably got a tendency to never harden. Well, you could try it. I think I might have tried it. Can't remember. But well, that's that's what I've used. And so I just dump a bunch in here and to clean it up. I just dumped a bunch of gasoline inside it. Some of the nozzles are flat. Three flats and three conical ones. I'm not exactly sure what uh, what they do. Well, the annoying thing about this is that it it sort of drips from the tip because there's no valve, nothing to stop it from dripping. So if you thin it too much, uh, it'll just start falling all over the place. So you got to get it right. If you don't thin it enough, it's too thick just blow out air and, uh, and you won't uh, nothing will come out you got to play around with the uh, nozzles too it seems to me that uh, uh, the, the, the smallest nozzle in my case work the best I, I will try the other ones I haven't tried them yet uh, yeah there you have it yeah, I think I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I think I covered everything.